Hey folks, I'm Andre, also known as Medla. And I'm Paul, aka Pabro, the newish EP for League. Uh, today is Thursday, August 8th, so as usual, anything that happens after today won't be covered. Now, for this dev update, we'll be doing something a little different. We don't have a lot of you know, really chunky new topics to share, so we're going to be answering some questions we've received from many of you instead. We'll be back with a regular dev update in September, though. So, let's get started. Okay, so a question for you, Paul. Okay. From a player in North America, I've been playing Swarm since its release. Will it be permanent? Ah. What about Arena? All right. At the time of this recording, you have all spent over 49 million hours fighting the Primordians. We saw a lot of good player feedback, taking notes for future modes, especially from players looking for ways to play League outside of Summoner's Rift. We want to replicate all the fun and success of Swarm in new modes in the future, so thank you for playing. We haven't decided on Arena's future yet, but we'll be able to talk more about it in our State of Modes update, which includes coverage of Swarm, Arena, ARAM, and the future of modes in general in our next update. All right. So let's go on to this question from Korea. Streamers are having their games sniped by people looking to manipulate the game's outcome. What are you doing to fix this? So we do not condone this abuse, and we're serious about fixing it. We've just shipped some changes in patch 1415 to make the penalty for declining queues more severe. First penalty now starts at two declines instead of four, leads to a five minute suspension, that then ramps up to 30 minutes and then 12 hours. We want to see how this change lands, we're certainly open to additional changes to how the decline functionality works if needs be, but there are some trade-offs from those to things like increasing time to get into game, or putting AFK players into lobbies, making those eventually get reset when they auto-dodge. So, keeping a close eye on the problem, open to further changes if needs be, but there's a bunch of complex trade-offs for us. This one comes from Europe. It feels like ADCs have taken over the game recently, and now I have to play the mid. Is this going to get changed anytime soon? So we made some changes to ADCs, at the start of Split 2, to try and address some long-running satisfaction problems amongst ADC players. That's had some unattended consequences though, and we've seen ADCs get a lot more play in high MMR and pro play in other lanes. We've got some changes in flight right now, that should be live by the time you see this video, in 14.15 and 14.16 to bring their power back down. This is one of those cases where what we're looking to achieve and what we actually achieved didn't quite line up, unfortunately. But as with all these sort of situations, if we miss the mark on something, we'll go back, keep working on it, try and stick the landing better. So from players in China, it feels like my games are decided by how many fill players there are, especially in Diamond Plus. Are there plans to make autofill players on each team equal? We care that when you load in, both teams feel like they have an equal chance of winning. So by the time you're hearing this message, we'll have shipped changes in uh, mid-August that should better balance the amount of autofilled and secondary players in each team. Now matchmaking is something we saw a lot of questions on, so we'll do a deeper dive in our next dev update. From Brazil, can you bring back honor opponents? I mean, short answer, yes. In September, you'll be able to honor opponents again, and you'll be able to honor multiple teammates. We're making some other changes to the honor system as well. We'll talk about those more soon. Okay, next up, we got a question from a player in LATAM. Are you doing anything to fix people inting my games? Not you specifically, Andre, but for everybody else on the planet, we definitely want to make changes here because it sucks when it happens to us too. It's a difficult space to get right, but we're making some changes to our detection systems to improve this. We'll have to focus more on a total set of behaviors across more games and things like selling items to buy fairy charms, wasting all on cooldown, report rate over many games. We're gonna have to study a lot. This work is still ongoing, but we are optimistic that it should have a much higher success rate of detecting grief so we're expecting to trial this in the next few months. We also have a dev blog that's out now that goes into more detail on both the honor system and our improved griefing detection, so stay tuned. All right, so this next question comes from Southeast Asia. My friends who are new to League are placed too high. They lose a lot, they get flamed, and they don't want to play. What are you doing to fix this? Okay, so there's three things we're working on right now. The first is Vanguard removing bots has made it so the matchmaking system gets much better data about how new players are actually doing because they're not getting matched against or compared to bots when their skill is being calculated. Second, for new players to ranked, we recently added a 10 normal SR game requirement to all accounts before they're allowed to play ranked at all. That gives us a lot more data on how players' skill will actually perform there rather than just comparing them to how they did in ARAMs or RGMs or whatever. And then third, we're also currently working on more improvements to how we detect smurfs in general so that they're placed more accurately. Here we've got a question from, well actually a lot of players all over the place. Did Vanguard actually stop botting in League like you said it would? Is, is Vanguard working? 
All right, the short answer is yes, and let me hit you with some stats. Ranked scripting fell below 1% for the first time in four years. Only one in 200 ranked games has a scripter, and we have seen very few false positives, but several cases of accounts being stolen or shared with cheaters. Now, cheaters are running out of accounts, so please don't give them yours. Side note here, if you haven't already enabled email multi-factor authentication, please do, that'll really help prevent this. It'll help you a lot. There have been some integration bugs, mainly with old or vulnerable drivers or certificates, and we have seen issues with leaving your client running for long periods of time or launching on two machines. This can cause issues with Vanguard, and we're working to make sure these issues don't happen again. We haven't seen any Vanguard cause problems with boot looping or bricking machines, but let us know if you experience it. The biggest complaint we are seeing is, why does this have to run from boot? Microsoft is making some changes to Windows. We may get to a point where Vanguard may not have to do this in the future. We'll see how this goes and give you an update as soon as we can. We're starting to see bad actors move to Mac, so Mac, Vanguard should be coming soon. You can read about that and more today in our dev blog made by our wizardly Vanguard team. Next, we have a question from a player in North America. Do you have an update on the Champion Master emotes that you promised you'd be updating? We do. Uh, we've gone through a few explorations, but we've landed on this. Now, our goal was to respect the previous design player's love while figuring out a way to make them look different and updated. Uh, we want to get your feedback on this new version, so please do let us know what you think. All right, Andre, here comes another question from players in Oceania, which hey, I believe you're on. familiar with, yes? OK, why do you force champions into existing thematics? So a lot goes into the process of selecting what theme we're going to use for champion skins. Sometimes that's an existing thematic that players really want to see a champion in. Sometimes that's particular aspects of a champion's personality or whatever. But we are going through a bit of an update right now where we're going to put less focus on existing skin lines, as our starting point at least, and a bit more focus on, hey, what does this particular champion need from a new skin? So we're going to you know, look more at their portfolio, figure out what they're lacking, whether that's skins that really closely align with their base existing theme, or things that actually take aspects of their personality in ways that work but really reinvent them. Like, what if Azir was a practitioner of the law? Mm -hmm. you know, we want to have that wide range of, of vibes and, and, and just like feel for these, these skins in ways that still make sense for the champion they are. Sometimes that means you know, you'll get things like the B skin line. Sometimes that'll mean things like you know, Rain Shepherd to really enhance existing champion fantasies. If you want to hear more about how we choose skins, we've got a dev blog out now that goes into a lot more detail. And to spoil some stuff from it, the upcoming prestige skin list is Zeri, Diana, Swain, and Caitlin. Okay, so this one comes from everyone. When are you going to delete Yumi? Yeah, so we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be adding Yumi's sister, Tumi, instead. Tumi will have two books, will be permanently attached, will have double crit, will have a three hit, a four hit, and a five hit passive. Multiple dashes, global alts, yes, multiple global alts, can transform into Lisa and has his entire kit when she needs it and is also Yasuo and Yone's sister. All right, that's all we have for today. Let us know if you like this format, and we'll try it again sometime. Or if you like, we can try something completely different. Don't get too wild here. But also, don't forget to check out the dev blogs we mentioned today. We do want to take a minute to remind you that this October, we'll be celebrating 15 years of League. We'll be sharing some stories from you, have some missions you can complete for free rewards, all as we ramp up for Worlds 2024. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the Rift. Bye.